And so Einstein's role was to debunk ether so that we couldn't have free energy, so that the monopolists could carry on with oil and what they were going to do, all the cars and the planes and centralize everything via passports and airports and all these places that they'd relocated and repurposed in the society after the great fires, etc. And, you know, their society, they wanted to keep the buildings that had the power that plugged into the matrix, that plugged into the energy grid. Uh, and co-opt it so that it wasn't about healing anymore like the old world but it was about the opposite <laughs> disease dis-ease disharmony pain <laughs> misery suffering the cremation of care a ceremony that takes place pu not publicly but it's known about publicly in bohemian grove where they worship the giant stone owl moloch statue um but an owl also used by tartary interesting are they really worshipping Tartary or are they really worshipping Moloch? I mean, I think it is Moloch in this case, but owls are pretty animals anyway, so I don't hate them. <laughs> this is why you can't be puritanical about any symbolism. You can't be puritanical about it because it's ambiguous. Masonic symbolism is sacred geometry. You can't say that sacred geometry is evil. You can't say someone drawing a pentagram is automatically bad or evil because that's how you do magic. That's how the occult works. That's how alchemy works. Alchemists repurposed as wizards in our fiction. But um, there's accounts from the 1500s of Magnus, Albertus Magnus, uh, who made a robot called Brass Boy, who became so loquacious that Thomas Aquinas, his uh, student, who's also a saint, um, bashed it to bits, basically, because it wouldn't shut up. <laughs> he, he caught up a hammer and laughed, dashed it to pieces. I love the way they say it in oldie English. But yeah, that's the story. That's the account we're given in the Chronicle of Belgium. And... There's other accounts of alchemists and alchemical robots. And then there's stories like Clash of the Titans that show us about the ancient world and there's an alchemical owl. And there's the wizards, the gods. They put energy, electricity into objects, machines, turn them into technology with knowledge, wisdom, electromagnetism. <laughs> All the things that we talk about. We grow plants more strong because of copper, because of ether which Einstein said didn't exist. It's that hidden in plain view. It's in that much plain view. That's the frustrating thing. You've got all these buildings with all these amazing so-called Gothic architecture, and you can see that it's conducive to electrical conduction. You can see that the shapes and people that work in these fields know this, and they say that, and it's literally the materials have something about them that makes them stand the test of time, that makes them also store electrical particles, electricity, you know, piezoelectricity. And we don't know whether that's being stored in batteries, earthen batteries throughout the building. But when I see a row of lights and then I see a pot <laughs> with a lid on it above it, I think that's an earthen battery, that's what's powering the lights. That's logical, and I can't see anything else now. It's not, it's not possible to just see it as a piece of aesthetic beauty or architecture anymore, or believe the narrative that we're given about the Masonic architects or the team or the construction company or any details we're given, really. Even the construction photos, they can be faked very easily. They've been doing Photoshop for a long time. So, we can't really trust anything. We have to go by our intuition. And now we've got AI scanners that just lie. Because if something's out of line, out of sync with what they believe the narrative should be, they say it's likely AI, even if it's real. Even if it's the aftermath of Chicago Great Fire, with an arch sticking out of the rubble. Nope, that's AI, even though it was real. Whereas an AI picture of North London in an apocalypse, where it's overgrown with plants, where it looks like it could be real, that's real. That's 100% not altered by AI, even though that was AI generated. <laughs> so the AI scanner is complete bullshit. Everything is completely fake in this world. We don't know what we can trust apart from our own intuition, our own inner voice.